Hey everyone, um, this is Oliver and this is a video of a sudden search um, campaign set up for the dojo at affiliatefix.com. Um, this is a dojo only video uh, walkthrough. I know I've been promising these for a while. Um, I want to thank you first and foremost for your patience, but obviously with the new site um, and everything that's been going on, you can see how busy I've been. Um, we now have the platform, the site, um, the dojo set up how I want it. Um, I have my mic here and everything set up to move forward with this. Um, so there'll be lots more of these sort of videos. Um, this video is about 7Search paper click platform. Um, a little introduction to 7Search. It's basically a search engine um, where you can bid as an advertiser on um, keywords that uh, your ad is then shown in the search engine quite similar to Google. Um, if you're new to 7Search, uh, you can go to 7Search.com and sign up or um, you can take advantage of our exclusive offer um, exclusively for Affiliate Fix and Dojo members, um, which is at 7Search.com forward slash landing forward slash Affiliate Fix. I will put a link below this video in the thread so you can take advantage of that. Um, Guys, you know me by now. I'm very honest, very open. Um, I don't pretend to be anything I'm not. So everything you hear in with these videos and on the forum is always, you know, from me. I don't try and feed you any BS. It's 100% me. Um, this is the best 7Search uh, offer out there. No, you don't have to take it. No, I'm not saying you have to do this. Um, it's entirely up to you. I'm just saying this is probably the best way in. Um, people ask me about 7Search all the time. Do I think it's the best PPC uh, traffic and network out there? No. Do I think it's the best uh, PPC and traffic network out there for beginners? 100% yes. Um, it's the best place to learn PPC from the ground up. It's the most forgiving. It's not going to steal $100,000, you know, in a week from you. It's not going to, you know, take all your budget in and 10 minutes like, um, you know, Facebook and Bing and other platforms can. It's fundamentally the best platform for learning PPC. Once you've mastered the art of tracking, of um, copies, copywriting, you know, setting up your ads, picking a target, picking an angle, um, and generally running tra paid traffic, then move on to the other guys. But to start with, it's the best uh, traffic platform for uh, beginners to PPC. Um, like I say, it's very forgiving and you can learn all the key elements to running a paid campaign um, on 7Search. Take advantage of this. You basically click the Claim Now button. You then sign up here and within half a day normally, um, once you've deposited your first $100, you will be given a free $50 spend credit on your account. 100% um, free, no strings attached, $50 in your account for you to spend. That's it. Don't have to do that. If you don't want to take advantage of it, guys, sign up here anyway. You don't have to use the coupon straight away. Or go to 7Search and sign up. Once you've signed up, you need to obviously um, add some funding. And now I'm going to talk you through how to set up a simple campaign. Like I say, this is gonna be a simple example. I'm not gonna go into detail about copy, about which offers to select. Uh, most things work on 7Search if you can find the right keywords and angle. Um, that's not what this video is about. It's simply showing you how to set up your first campaign. So we're gonna click campaigns up here and then we're gonna click on the create campaign button. Now this is our uh, window where we can create our campaign. It's very, very simple. 7Search design is a bit stuck in the past. Um, I am speaking and working with them on improving this, but um, you know, it's very, very simple to set up a campaign. Um, for the purpose of this video, I've picked an offer from Peerfly. Um, don't pay too much attention to the offer or the network. It's purely because obviously, you know, Luke works on the forum. He'll probably be in this uh, thread helping people out. Um, he's another fan of 7Search. Uh, Peerfly is obviously a great network, but we work with so many other networks. But you know, Luke puts the site on a pedestal. And if you're not already um, connected with 7Search or approved, then you know it's probably the easiest one to get approved by on Affiliate Fix for running 7Search campaigns. So contact me or contact Luke, show him this video, show him that you're inside the dojo, and we'll get you approved. Um, it's basically a simple payday loan offer, um, 100 day loans. I like this offer because the EPC look good. Also because it allows, we need to make sure it allows search PPC traffic. 
Um, another thing I like, it's quite clever, you don't take an expert to see, they pretty much ripped the Facebook landing page um, and changed a few elements. Um, so it automatically um, kind of gives that user that trust um, element straight away. It's not overly important. You can pick any niche as long as you're allowed PPC um, traffic to it. Ask your affiliate manager on whatever network you're on. Um, that's not, like I say, what this video is about, but most um, offers do work on seven search. You just need to find the angle for it. Uh, okay, so we're going to pick this offer. Um, I've already, where is it here? Um, basically filled out each uh, field so I can quickly go through it with you. Good thing about some search, they give you this default ad preview at the top. So this is how your ad will view on their search engine. Okay, I'm not going to go too much into um, copy and stuff like that, like I said, but let's run through how we're going to set it up. So campaign name, only you see this. It, it's basically for your eyes only. It's if you've got tens of campaigns, it's, you know, you need to label it something quite clear so that you can easily pick out the campaign you want. Okay, 100 day loans, US uh, stands for United States. We're only allowed to push this uh, offer in the United States. So, you know, if you're split testing your campaign, if you're testing copy, you know, you're running multiple versions of the campaign to see what performs the best, you would just add the name um, in here and go from there. So, we now need to move down to the ad title, and this is, like I say, going to appear up here. So, we're going to go for, I've just simply put short of money, question mark, click here for help. So you, you always want, I'm not going to go too much into copy, but you always want to uh, tell them what to do. Don't, don't leave any options open. Just say, you know, click here for help. Be very precise. Um, the ad description. Uh, again, I'm not going to go into copy, but we want to help you pay your bills on time with our automatically low cost loan approvals. Don't struggle, you know, put that in their head. Don't struggle when you can help, we can help right now. Click here for help today. Again, another call, strong call to action. Tell them what to do. You know, it's not, it doesn't take a genius to work out how to write copy and do affiliate marketing. Um, like I say, I would spend a lot longer on going through this copy, but I need to throw something up for the purpose of this video. But you want a strong call to action. Tell them, you know, guide the customer, guide the user through the funnel tell them what to do. Okay, display URL is the URL that displays underneath your copy. Um, Seven Search are pretty lapsed about this. They pretty much approve anything, so put what you want there, but obviously I've just gone for the 100-day loans. Um, with with a, with affiliate your affiliate offer, you're gonna get like a, an unattractive offer um, link that looks like this, um, depending on what network you're using. So you don't wanna put that there because if people see that, they'll see it's a referral, they'll see it's a, an affiliate offer and be turned away. So put the, either the, um, you know, the owner of the offer domain there, or, you know, you could make something up. So I could put something like, you know, shortofmoneyloans.com or something like that. Make it attractive, make it look legit. The default destination, like I said, is basically your affiliate link. So if we went to Peerfly, we'd grab this link now, tracking is a massive, uh, massive um, aspect of Seven Search and of um, any affiliate marketing. Uh, like I say, I'm not going to go through that on this, but I wouldn't just note that I wouldn't be putting this link in here if I was actually running this campaign seriously. I would put my link through Prosper 202, set up a proper um, tracking link with sub IDs and stuff like that, um, and then put that link in there. But basically, to show you, the destination URL is your affiliate link. Okay, it's not the pretty link. It's no one's going to see it. They're obviously going to see it when they pass through the and click the ad. But it's your affiliate link that goes in here. Tick adult orientated website if it is. Um, for example, if you're pushing adult dating, something like that, and then select the category. Obviously, for loans, I'm going to select finance, credit, and loans. Um, budget's entirely up to you guys. I don't know what you know everyone can afford. Blah blah blah. But you know, affiliate marketing wasn't isn't done on the shoestring if you're you're uh, going to be going into paid traffic you need to um, set up correct tracking and you need to push decent budgets to collect data and see what works you also need to split test um, your offers your copy um, your images obviously not on SEM search but on display side of things um, uh, to see what works find something that works and then up the budget okay so it's up to you guys ten dollars a day isn't going to get you many clicks, but if you're working on a budget, I suggest no, no less. Um, 
target your customers. You'll see on your offer, this isn't just on Peerfly, this is on any network, allowed countries US. So we don't want to target anyone else because if the pixel or the uh, offer converts, say for a UK user, because we don't select the US, um, the advertiser is not going to pay for it, guys. So we don't want to do that. We'll get a charge back for it. So select specific countries, tick that. We're going to tick United States and we're going to tick add. Okay, if, if it converts in various countries, add all the countries it converts in. Once we're happy, um, like I say, don't copy this, guys. It's not, it's something I came up with in two minutes. I spend a lot more time if I was actually running this campaign. Click create campaign. Okay, we're gonna now go be taken to the keyword suggestion tool. Um, it's a pretty cool tool from 7Search. It basically allows you to search for terms related to your offer and it will show you um, the estimated uh, searches per month and the estimated clicks if you were bidding on the top position. So basically guys, um, for 7Search you bid on keywords. Now these keywords are searched by users on their search engine. So let's say for example we bid on loan, okay? It will tell us the uh, estimated uh, clicks if we were bidding on the top uh, position for loan keyword. So there might be another 10 affiliates, you know, there might be 100 affiliates bidding on that one keyword, but it will tell us if we're top, if we're bidding the top bid, um, we outrank obviously all the other affiliates, and this is the estimated amount of clicks we can expect for that top position. Now, the bidding will come into place on the next screen, but let's uh, load up some keywords. So I'm going to search for loan, obviously. And another thing to mention, we're obviously going quite broad with this offer. Um, I would highly suggest, um, if I was doing this properly, I would probably pick an angle. So, uh, for example, I would pick, say, student loans, um, and my copy and my description and headline would be catered around students, and then I'd bid on, you know, student loan uh, keywords, um, purely because you can then target down to... Um, better audiences and you've got more chance than usually more chance if you pick an angle and a target than you do when you just go broad on an offer um so let's this basically spits out all related keywords to the keyword you search for it's pretty cool again like i say it shows you estimated searches per month so that's how many times via seven searches search engine that keyword gets searched roughly Estimate top clicks. So if you're at the top position, how many clicks you're going to get a month? And these are the top three bids on that keyword currently. So it's pretty much saying, guys, if you added this keyword and then bid 26 cents, you'd be at the top of that keyword for that search term. So you'd expect, if your copy was strong enough, to usually get the click. You know, you can bid at second and third or, you know, even fourth and get traffic. It all depends on your copy and stuff, but you've obviously got most chance of getting that click if you're at the top. So let's go and add some keywords. You literally click the plus button. Um, again, I'm not here to talk about how many keywords you should add and blah, 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 but if you're going for a targeted uh, approach like the payday loan, a uh, student payday loan, then I would add you know 10 to 20. If you're going broad, then you might want to add a lot more. Um, I, I know people who add up to 100, 200 keywords filter them down to the ones that are getting traffic and working conversions, but um, it's entirely up to you. Um, again, you know, payday loans is pretty much what we're trying to uh, advertise. So you can see that the bid's gonna be quite high, um, but the offer's paying out $82. So, you know, we've got more than 82 chances for this to convert um, to get a return on our investment. Bear that in mind when you're bidding on keywords. Um, so let's go ahead, you know, I'm not going to go through this, but let's go ahead and add some bad credit loan, small business loan, paid in loan settlement, student loan, like I said, um, get a loan, it's a good term, isn't it? People wanting to get loans, mortgage loan. Um, again, I'd probably set up a campaign based around mortgage loans um, instead of going broad, but uh, that's for another video. Um, debt consolidation loan. Um, loan calculator, home loan, you know, add your keywords, guys. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about this. Starting bid, basically on the next screen, we'll have to see a really cool tool by 7Search uh, that tells you what bid you should be bidding. Um, so just leave it at five and click next. On the next screen, we're going to um, see our keywords and basically click submit, it will prompt you. And then we want to click on the manage keyword bids. 
So what this does, guys, it brings up a pretty cool screen. You can add keywords, by the way, um, delete them, etc. You'll start seeing data in here once your um, campaign starts running. Um, there's a tiny approval. It literally takes about 10 minutes on average if your account has ran ads before. Um, if it hasn't, I can't remember if it took a bit longer, but basically it doesn't take long for your ads to start getting clicks. Now, what you want to pay attention to is the smart bid uh, field here. Basically, the smart bid is telling you that pretty much to be in position one for this keyword, you're going to need it to bid at least 13 cents, um, 37 cents for this, and so forth. Um, eventually, once you start getting some data and traffic running, it will show you what the average rank for your keyword is. So it will show you where you're actually ranking compared to other, other affiliates who are bidding on that keyword. But I personally always um, go with their smart bids or more to start with. It's entirely up to you, but you need to be bidding up the top to get the best clicks. So if you bear with me whilst I just fill this out, there's also a cool tool you can do to uh, automatically bid top for all of these. Uh, but we'll go into that after. So 21, 11. Another great thing, um, little tip that you can do guys as well is you can click on this little uh, spyglass here and it will basically pull up the um, the people already bidding and, and uh, the terms that are already showing for that keyword. So it's very good for um, your uh, copy uh, research you can see what other people are doing uh, if I click that it's on my other screen pull it across you can see what other people are doing in their uh, copy um, so fast cash 200 to hundred thousand dollars hundred percent online um, looking to get a loan question mark you know you can pull up you can see what keeps reoccurring it's usually what works um, and you can you can take your copy from there um, so like I said I put all the bids to the top and I'm going to click on the save bids um, and that's pretty much it, guys. You you then need to uh, allow your traffic to come in and see what your average rank is and adjust your bids according to that. Um, the impressions and clicks will obviously come in and it'll show you how much you're paying, um, average CPC, and you basically need to see what keywords are working for you. Um, this all comes into traffic uh, tracking as well. So. I would always, again, it's for another video, I would always click the track it button and then add your um, post back pixel inside your network. Um, you basically go here and click on the lead um, and then you, you grab this and post post it back in Peerfly or wherever it is. Ask your affiliate manager how you do that um, and it will basically then in your network show you what keywords um, the conversions came from, what clicks. Um, are working and what are not another thing to quickly mention i want to keep this as short as possible because it's pretty simple just how to set up your first campaign um get in touch with seven search once you've done at least 100 clicks they will then ask them to basically allow you to blacklist um bad bad uh, ips because uh, some of your traffic will be um from ips that's not converting and it you might be charged you know several clicks for uh, traffic that's not converting and what you can do is basically block their IP so you won't receive any more clicks from that traffic source. Um, again, don't copy this campaign. This is just a simple uh, simple form as I can show you how to set up a campaign in 7Search. I would then run this traffic, I'd then analyze the data, obviously make sure your tracking is legit, make sure it's set up, make sure your post back pixels in um, your network. Um, and then basically optimize and monetize your campaigns, which will be in further lessons inside the dojo and the video. This was just basically a simple, simple video showing you how to easily set up a campaign in 7Search um, and how to yeah get your PPC traffic flowing to your offers. Okay, guys, um, hope you enjoyed it. Ask any questions below. Make sure you start follow-alongs. If you're going to start bidding on 7Search, start your campaigns today make sure you start following along inside the dojo so we can help you. Um, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, guys.